Even though Apple's Mac computers and their OS X operating system are great pieces of hardware and software respectively, there's been a lot of times where I've just needed access to Windows to run a program or to open a specific kind of file. Now the good news is that Windows 10 is really easy to install on a Mac and you don't even need a CD. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare your Mac for installing Windows and then how to install Windows and set it up so that it works perfectly on your Mac without any issues. Now bear in mind this works for Apple desktops and laptops, so MacBook Pros, MacBook Air and also the iMacs, it's all going to be exactly the same. All you need to get started is an external hard drive or USB thumb drive over 16 gigabytes capacity and preferably USB 3. And of course you need either a key for Windows 10 or if you're able to still upgrade to Windows 10 for free, you can do it for free that way. So without further ado, let's just jump straight onto the Mac and I'll show you guys how to prep your computer to install Windows 10 to the hard drive. And there's a couple things you need to have done before you think about installing Windows 10 onto your Mac. And that is make sure you're upgraded to the latest version of the operating system. You can see here when we go to Apple logo and about this Mac, I'm running OS X El Capitan, which is going to be fine. I would recommend El Capitan as an absolute minimum. And then you want to go to the storage tab and you want to make sure you have about 40 to 50 gigabytes free at the very, very least on your hard drive. Then you're going to go to the Windows 10 disk image website and this is actually going to let you download the .iso file or basically the install media for Windows 10. Now I downloaded the 64-bit version and once it's finished, I just dragged it onto the desktop. It will take a little while to actually download that because it is a relatively large file. Now you're going to actually insert your external hard drive or your USB into the computer. You can see mine's just popped up there. Again, make sure it's over 16 gigabytes. Now you want to actually go into what's called Boot Camp Assistant. Now this is a program that's going to let you install Windows onto the Mac itself. So we'll go continue. Now, I do recommend backing up your disk before you do this. Now you wanna tick create a Windows 7 or later install disk, continue. And then you wanna click on the choose button and just make sure that you've selected that ISO file you downloaded before. You can see it's automatically found mine. Then click continue and then you're gonna go continue as well. Remember, this is obviously gonna erase that USB you plugged into the computer. Now this process will probably take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour depending on your internet speed and depending on the speed of your external device. Obviously, if you have like an SSD, it's gonna be really, really quick. But once that's finished, it's gonna ask you just to pop in your password for your administration account. And then we're just going to actually quit Bootcamp Assistant for the time being. Now, once we've quit it, open up your USB. You can see now it's called Win Install, and you can see all of the media is actually on that disk right now, and it's all ready to go. So let's go back to Boot Camp Assistant. We'll just load that program up again. And we'll just click Continue again. And this time we're gonna untick Create a Windows 7 version install disk, because we've already done that. And we're also gonna untick Download the latest Windows support software from Apple, because we just did that in a step before. Now we're gonna make sure that Install Windows 7 or later version stays ticked, and then we're going to click Continue. Now this is gonna let you actually drag left and right to make a partition. Make sure you have at least 30 or 40 gigabytes for your Windows partition. Then you're gonna click install, and I'm just gonna to swap to my camera now because it's a bit hard to record on a computer that's trying to install Windows. So you can see here, this is gonna be actually partitioning the disk, and once that partition is completed, the computer will actually turn off and it's going to boot into your Windows bootable disk. If it doesn't boot into your Windows disk straight away, what you need to do is you need to press the power button and then you need to hold the option key on the keyboard, and that's gonna let you to select which drive you want to boot from. Now, once the Windows setup has finished loading, you're just going to be greeted by the normal Windows setup screen. So you can see there, select your language, your currency, your input method, and this is going to ask you for your Windows product key. So if you already have a Windows 10 product key, put that in now. If you're still eligible to upgrade to Windows 10 for free, all you need to click is down the bottom there, I don't have a product key. That's what you need to click. But if you don't have a Windows key and you're thinking of buying one later or you don't have it with you at the moment, you can still click I don't have a product key because once you've finished installing Windows, you can just put that in at a later time. It's not a big deal. So what we're gonna to have to do now is we have to select what operating system we want. I personally only need Windows 10 Home, so I'm gonna select that one. 
and we're just going to agree to the terms again. This is just a normal Windows setup screen. Now this is where we have to actually select which partition we want to install Windows to. Now if you were paying attention before, when I was creating my Windows partition in bootcamp, you would have seen that I actually allocated 30 gigabytes of my hard drive to be my Windows 10 partition. So what you want to do now is you want to scroll up and down and you want to find that partition. So you can see this one here, 29.9 gigabytes. It's close enough, that's going to be my partition. So select on that, click next, and you're going to be getting an error message. Windows cannot be installed to this hard disk space because Windows must be installed to a partition formatted as NTFS. So what does that mean? Well, it means the partition we created about five minutes ago was using OS X extended journal format. What we need to do now is convert that partition to something that Windows will be able to be installed on, and that's NTFS. So to do that, we'll click OK on this error message, and then we're gonna make sure we've selected that partition, and we're actually going to format that particular partition. Once that partition is formatted, go back and select it again, and then click the Next button. You can see now that it's gone straight to the Windows installation screen. So obviously Windows is able to read that NTFS file system and install itself onto that partition. Now this will take, you know, 10, 15 minutes. It's just your normal Windows install at this point. Now after the Windows installation media has finished, you're actually going to get to the Windows setup screen. Now I'm not going to run through this in too much detail because it's just a normal Windows setup and these settings will depend on your personal preferences. Once Windows has finished the final stage of the setup, you should see a dialog box pop up that says welcome to bootcamp install. If this doesn't pop up, what you need to do is make sure that that external USB or hard drive you use to install Windows to your Mac is still plugged in and you want to jump into File Explorer, you want to open up that external drive and then you want to go into the bootcamp folder and then you want to double click on the setup file. Now the bootcamp installer is very important because it allows the hardware of your Mac to interface with the software of the Windows operating system. It installs a couple of different drivers and different pieces of software just to let the hardware and the software of the two different companies communicate with each other. If you didn't install a bootcamp installer, you probably won't be able to use the trackpad you won't be able to connect to the internet because the hardware and the software don't know how to talk to each other. So you're essentially installing the instructions onto the computer that will tell them how to talk to each other. So we'll click next on this window, then we'll agree to the terms and conditions. And we're going to actually install the bootcamp program. So once that's done, I recommend just restarting the computer and that's it. Windows is gonna be on your hard drive. Now it's quite easy to actually switch between the two operating systems. If your Mac is turned off, to select which partition you want to boot into, turn the power on and then immediately hold down the option key on the keyboard and that's going to let you select either Windows or Mac. If you're using Windows 10, if you look down in the system tray in the bottom right hand corner, you can actually see the bootcamp program running there and you can right click on that and you can click restart in OS 10. Same thing with the Mac operating system, Apple logo, system preferences, bootcamp and that will allow you to restart the computer into Windows. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you were able to install Windows on your own Mac without any issues. If you did have issues, there are a lot of Microsoft and Apple support forums, or you can also leave a comment in the comment section below. Either myself or some of the other viewers will try to get back to you with a solution. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.